I'm often asked the question, what is the meaning of life? In my book, Affirmations, I have a chapter on creating your own meanings. The meaning of life is not to be found in a secret formula discovered by ancient prophets or modern gurus who withdraw from living to seek quiet contemplation and release. Life has no meaning per se. It does, however, present us with innumerable opportunities, which we can either squander and retreat from in fear or seize with exuberance. It can be discovered by anyone and everyone who can energize an inborn zest for living. It is found within living itself as it reaches out to create new conditions for experience. Eating of the fruit of the tree of life gives us the bountiful enthusiasms for living. The ultimate value is the conviction that life can be found good in and of itself. Each moment has a kind of preciousness and attractiveness. The so-called secret of life is an open scenario that can be deciphered by everyone. It is found in the experiences of living, in the delights of a fine banquet, the strenuous exertion of hard work, the poignant melodies of a symphony, the appreciation of an altruistic deed, the excitement of an embrace of someone you love, the elegance of a mathematical proof, the invigorating adventure of a mountain climb, the satisfaction of quiet relaxation, the lusting, lusty singing of an anthem, the vigorous cheering in a sports contest, the reading of a delicate sonnet, the joys of parenthood, the pleasures of friendship, the quiet gratification of serving our fellow human beings in all of these activities and more. It is in the present moment of experience as it is brought to fruition, as well as in the delicate memory of past experiences and the expectation of future ones, that the richness of life is exemplified and realized. The meaning of life is that it can be found to be good and beautiful and exciting on its own terms for ourselves, our loved ones, and other sentient beings. It is found in the satisfaction intrinsic to creative activities, wisdom, and righteousness. One doesn't need more than that, and hopefully one will not settle for less. The meaning of life is tied up intimately with our plans and projects, the goals we set for ourselves, our dreams, and the successful achievement of them. We create our own conscious meanings. We invest the cultural and natural worlds with our own interpretations. We discover, impose upon, and add to nature. Meaning is found in the lives of the ancient Egyptians, in their culture built around Isis and Osiris, and the pyramids, pyramids or in the ruminations of the ancient prophets of the Old Testament. It is exemplified by the Athenian philosopher standing in the Acropolis, deliberating about justice in the city-state. It is seen in the structure of the medieval town, built upon a rural economy, feudalism, and a Christian cultural background. It is experienced by the samurai warrior in the context of Japanese culture, in the hopes and dreams of the Incas of Peru by the native Watusi tribes in Africa and in the Hindu and Muslim cultures of India and South Asia. And it is exemplified anew in the modern post-industrial technological urban civilizations of the present day world, which give us new cultural materials and new opportunities for adventure. Human beings have found their meanings within the context of historical cultural experience and in how they are able to live and participate within it. Life had meaning to them. Only the content differed. The form and function was similar. Life, when fully lived under a variety of cultural conditions, can be euphoric and optimistic. 
It can be a joy of experience and a wonder to behold.